Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Mask of Deception with me, your girl, No Fuses. We stopped in the middle or end of this Giri Giri battle, so we're going to see what happens next. And if you guys like this video, then please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more. Not bad, kid. <laughs> yeah. I survived. Somehow, you look, you look beat. Go rest up and leave the rest to us. This is your first time doing stuff like this, yeah? So I'll cut you some side justice once. All right, man. Let's retrieve our kills. We can sell this woman for funds, so don't miss a single leg. Yes, sir. Laughing in the wake of their victory, Ukon's men moved to carry out his orders. Wow, not a single casualty, huh? I guess this is what you expect from seasoned experts. Haku, show me your arm. Huh? Kuan comes up beside me and gently takes my arm. And takes my hand, inspecting the arm. Ow! Huh? I took a shallow cut on my upper arm without noticing. I don't know if one of their jaws grazed me or what, but I didn't notice it until Kuan touched it. Hold still, okay? Then without a moment's hesitation, Kuan puts her lips on the wound and sucks blood from it. Venom might have gotten into the wound, so just in case. You, you didn't need to go that far. My gaze locks her hers for a moment, but her eyes seem to be laughing. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> a man shouldn't raise his voice as something as small as this, you know. Why, you you did that on purpose, didn't you? Ignoring my accuse, you couldn't skillfully apply a solve to the cut and bandage it up tight. They're all done. That should be enough for now, I think. <laughs> she slapped my hand. <laughs> then as if to declare her work finished, she slightly pats the wound. <laughs> A com complaint bruise on my tongue, but it dies when I see Cohen's smile. She looks filled with relief that I'm safe. Oh, uh, yeah, here. I hold the tents in the muffin I borrowed to Cohen. It was a lifesaver, thank you. It's fine. Should ho hold on to it for a while, I think. Hmm? It'd probably be bad if you got caught unarmed in a bad situation, so let you hang on to it. You sure? I got the sense it's kind of important to you. Mm, precious to me, precious to me actually. Seriously, if that's the case, then why? Because you need it. That's why I want you to have it for now. Oh, okay, okay. If you're gonna keep insisting, I'll hold on to it. Hmm. I'm only lending it to you. Remember, I'll need it back someday. Most noble and valiant master, Master Haku, didst thou visit my elegant mage for a uh, magecraft? Uh. Forsooth, such ignoble beasts are the ones need. The reapers then sight the bill of my spell weaving. It's probably because I nursed him back to hell, but Murrow seems to be getting weirdly attached to me. So kid, how was it? Were you awfully anxious for how easy that job turned out to be, huh? Ukon calls over to me, having finished barking insurance at his men. The way you were carrying on, you got us all anxious too. Waha! Royal laughter rises from Ukon's men. Now that was, I guess it was all just a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Well, see, I was safe from a much bigger one of. I was safe from a much bigger one of these things attacking me not too long ago. So when everyone started talking about Gary Gary, I mistakenly assumed it was gonna be that huge one. If I had known it was just these little guys, I wouldn't have gotten so worked up. Uh oh, their faces are like, what is he talking about? Laughing suddenly stops. Did I kill the moon? What did you say that again, kid? Ukon stares at me frozen. Not just Ukon, all his men freeze in place too. You said you saw a much bigger one? Yeah, yeah. It was similar looking to these guys, just enormous. Did its body seem hardened? 
like an outer shell or a cones? Well, it, it comes questioning. I try to remember the details of the attack. Now that you mention it, yeah, his whole body seemed to gleam black. It looked really tough. And its horns were much longer, too. Cripes, if that's the case, they're in serious trouble. Oh my god. Someone's done. Then it happened before I can blink. A massive sharp burst from the bushes, scything toward us. There isn't any time to react as it blurs past a man nearby, sending something flying into the air. Yep, there it is. Ah, it was something like this. <laughs> Wait, is it just me or has Marmoo's face gone like pink? I don't know if it's just the lighting or he's just kind of like, oh snap. Or maybe he wet himself and now he's like embarrassed and doesn't want everybody else to know. Whoa, huh? The flying object lands solidly in Moro's hands, catching him by surprise. It has enough time to look at him and flap its mouth in silently anguish before it falls still. He! Moro's piercing screw echoes through the clearing. Whoa! Yeah, they run for their lives. They're just like, hell no. See, this is what Hawker was trying to tell everybody. He was just like, y'all out your minds to go after this. I knew it was going to go wrong. I knew this battle was going to go wrong. I freaking knew it. The way he was just kind of like having flashbacks, he's like, are y'all sure y'all want to do this? At the sound of his cry, the men around the scrum fleeing in all directions. What the? Gah. There are more little ones coming too. What's happening? Keep your distance. Fall back and regroup. We'll attack it all at once. Several of the men nearby took up arms at Ukon's command, but more Mergurians swarmed out the shadows nearby, pouring forth in ceaseless horde. Be careful, they're- ah! Man, they're, they're dropping like flies now. Before anyone can raid their men's gear, he lay into Ukon's men with vengeance. Haku! <laughs> At Kuan's call, I snapped by my confused days, quickly crushing the Gear attacking me. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Mm, no wonder I thought our stories weren't meshing. You were talking about this thing. Kuan sighs, rubbing her temples. This is bad, isn't it? I can't do a very decent man battle cry. I'm sorry. At least I'm not making it like, raw. <laughs> Fall back. Carry the wind if you can still if you can still stand. Move. Uka mows down Nagiri, carrying unconscious men over each of his shoulders. You two, what are you doing standing there like that? Get moving. Oh my god. Mamoru is like cowering behind me. Just, I don't want to die. I'm like, dude, throw some spells at them or something. <laughs> With a knot of dread in my stomach, I move to obey, trying best to flee. I, huh? But I can't move. A heavy weight pins my legs down. I, why are you clinging to my legs for? Whoa! Damn it, I can't move. Hurry up and get on your own two feet. They're messed well as the very trees to uproot and spring legs. I cannot move. I can't move because you're clinging to me. Come on, get up. I tried to pull Mara up to make him stand, but he's clinging so tightly I can't but I can't budge him. No no, a luck cry thunder, but Ben did not pour Mara to such a pill and end his eyes. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you to stand. Do you want to die? Damn it, I can't move with him on me like this. 
Where are you playing at, kid? We need to move now. Does it look like I'm playing? As we continue to waste precious time, the Giri swarm surges forward. And beyond them, the hawking monster's Giri gorges itself on the severed head of that poor man. Oh, that poor guy. Uh-oh, we're surrounded. You seem awfully calm. You have a plan of some kind, I'm hoping? I wouldn't call it a plan. I can probably get myself out. What, just you? Yeah, just me. And where does that leave me? Well, if this isn't a fine pickle. Hey, you're not going to run off and abandon me, right? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. If I were so easy to drive me off, I would have abandoned you a long time ago. But, what should we do? So this is it, huh? Bah, I guess there's no choice. Kid, Missy, hate to ask this to you, but I need you to get the others far away from here. Uko's voice carries an unusual weight. What is he planning to do? Just wait a moment. Quinn steps forward. This is my last one, so I wanted to save it, but... She takes a small tube hanging from her waist. Ready, everyone? I'm going to open the way for us. When I get the signal, cover your eyes and ears. And then run as fast as your legs can carry you. Oh, this is what she used when... I see. Flash grenade, huh? What world of weapon art thou making ready? Here goes three, two, one. Kyoin yanks something from the flash grenade, then it hurls it with all her strength. Alright, everyone, run! Gah! What went for a late blaze my eyes? Ugh, I almost want to kick him down. Trophy earned extermination. <sighs> Seems like we're able to get away from the time being, thanks to Kuhn's flash grenade. And Kuhn and the other survive survivors grind to a stop around me, looking as out of breath as I am. Don't fate preserve us. Hey, how long are you gonna keep clinging to me? Get off already. Gah! I just tangled myself from Murrow's vice grip around my legs. I'm exhausted. With Murrow wearing me down the hallway, my body's already at its limit. Hey, kid, you alright? Ukon looks over at me, carrying several men on his shoulders, even dragging some others with a rope. He's managed to rush all those people despite the danger. Damn it, there's a lot of guys missing. Hope they're okay. A quick head count reveals only about half the group made out with us. Most of them probably just got separate, but undoubtedly, some wounded have had to be left behind. Man, and to think that you were on the mark this whole time, anxious about a Buru Girigiri. Buru Girigiri? You mean this huge one? Yeah, my parents used to warn me when I was a kid. Don't go into the woods alone or you'll get eaten. I thought it was just a boogeyman. Never actually seen one in the flesh. Didn't think they were real. Never expected to see one pop up now of all times. It's just like you've been saying, going up against that thing is a fool's errand for sure. Sorry, I should have made myself clearer. If I had, this wouldn't have- no. Too late for that. Like, they all were like laughing in your face. You were literally telling them, like, there's this- like, the, from the get-go, saying like, hey, don't do this. Like, you're being pretty clear. If you go after it, you're gonna die. <laughs> Pretty freaking clear, so don't blame yourself, Haku, for this. Hey, no, I'm not gonna have you getting all guilty over this. It's my fault for being careless. Ukon pounces his fist into his palm in frustration. It seems like he's taking his anger out on himself. So, what are we gonna do now? Murmur, you know anything about the Boro Girigiri? Oh, erst I rid of the beast in some old tome or other, perhaps. Whatever you can tell us, anything is more useful than nothing. Hmm, hmm, again. Tis the likelihood that this, the swarm is but her brood, and she is their mother. It is the spawning season behind, when amongst the Girgiri doth grow us onto a titan and give birth. So engorge under her bulk do her children swarm, seeking as one horde would prey face it. So it attacked us to feed its young. 
Undoubtedly, I fate the breeding months are not yet upon us, and the Kirikiri oft favor far warmer climes than these. But upon rare occasion, fate comes prepared to bring out such monstrosities and circumstances apprehend. And there, I fear, I lies the boundary of my knowledge. Huh, I guess the stuff about him being a scholar wasn't a joke after all. So, if the burrow Gary are the parents, does that mean they come in pairs? One can but assume. Alas, the fine details are but a strength and unknown to me. Hmm. He's expecting there might be more than one just lurking around. Ukon looks lost in thought. Something wrong? Eh, no. I don't think so. I'm back. Uh, welcome back. How is it out there? It was just as you predicted. I knew it. Prith, what does thou speak? Oh, they're chasing us is all. Shh! Don't notice us. Kuan tries to quiet everyone down as a murmur spreads throughout the group. Kuan? Kuan's ear twitches. Barely a sound disturbs the clearing, except for the distant rustling of bushes. They're heading this way. <gasps> It'll be alright. They're still off at quite a distance. We'll be okay, I think. At Quinn's words, everyone seems to calm a little. Speak plain. Does the, I believe the scent of blood draw them near? The scent? That's right. This isn't good. We can't exactly erase the smell so long as we have injured with us. Looks like we'll have to fight it. What? Th th that's impossible. There's no way we'll stand a chance against that monster. Vildred cries out in his protest, clutching his wounded arm. I won't lie to you. It's reckless. And with our forces in, in this shape, we can't really execute any kind of plan. So is it really impossible? Even if it was right in the end, it's not exactly... I can't say that word. In the idle situation, I like to be able to fall back and regroup so we can organize ourselves. But doing that now, we're slurring it back to the village. We have to make our stand here. Exactly. They're like, they're like, I would really like to just go back to the village, regroup, get some more men, be better prepared, and then come back out and kill it. But if we were to do that, it would follow us all the way back to the village. Where there would be a lot more casualties. So we have to kill it here. Everyone falls silent at Ukon's words. Come to think of it, Haku. Hmm? I'm surprised you came out of being attacked by one of those things alright. I was not alright. It was about to eat me. I only survived because that other Tetera thing showed up and ate it before it could eat me. I see. And that's why... <laughs> so that's why you were about to be eaten by the Tetera. You have either the worst or best luck in the world, I think. It's something to laugh about. I was in serious trouble. But you survived, so it made for a good story at least. The way things are going, I'm going to be making more of those great I almost died stories right now. Jeez, if only a territory could come along and swallow this one up too. Huh? Hmm? What did you just say? I'm about to make more of those I almost died stories? No, after that. If only a ter territory could come along and swallow this one up too. That's it! That's it! We'll just have this one get eaten by a territory! Huh? Eaten by- what? There's no way! Haku, look around. Doesn't this place look familiar to you? At Kuan's prompting, I take a quick glance around. This place- could it be? They're, we're back at the start point. Then, it's decided. I'll go bait the territory and bring it here. I'll need you to- Push the burrow Gary off that cliff over there somehow. How can you ask me? How are we supposed to actually do that? Well, try your best. Try our best? You're going to leave it to us then. We're running out of time and this is our best shot. We're lost otherwise. Now hold on a second. You can please toss some sense into her. Missy, are you really okay with this? <laughs> I may not look it, but I'm pretty good at running. You won't have to worry about me. Hey! <laughs> hey, Aku, you know you really are an interesting person.
So what should we do, kid? You're leaving it to me too, huh? Well, you and her came up with this plan, so I'm assuming you can execute it. What am I supposed to do? They fall to settle blood, so what if we could distract them with an even stronger scent? Is there any of that rotten stew left? This stuff? Yeah, there's a little. Okay, we're gonna need anyone who can still move to act as decoys and peel the little ones off. The less severely injured who can carry the incapacitated will get them out of here in that window. And the rest of us will lure the burrow giri giri to the cliff once the swarm has been baited away. That's about as good a plan as I can come up with right now. Fast thinking in a situation like this. Hmm? Did you say something? No, nothing. It's a good plan. It could work. You heard him, men. Everyone okay with that? Men all around slowly nod. Hey, you sure, right? I'm just running my mouth with whatever came out of mine, so considering we're improvising here, it's all good. Okay, if you're fine with it, then I've got no objections. Alright, kid. Murmur! Let's get to work. Lured by the last little rotting meat, the Gary Gary Hort Horde swarms and scatters. Ah, look now to a host of fiends. See the burning purpose that doth drive them forth. They took the bait. I squint into the chittering mass, trying to scare the burrow Gary from the rest. There it is. It's keeping its distance from the small fry. Pray tell, but why would machinist intend thou to lure the beast as a moth to the siren flame? You're gonna hit it really hard. Yeah. Your make trap stuff. I need you to hit it with the biggest flashy spell you have. If it goes just right, you'll distract it and lure it here. Me? Ha <laughs> ha, Mumaru? Who else? Now come and hurry, or else the guys acting as decoys are gonna end up eat eaten. Oh, if I weave the the lay thread so in scrolled, would such a spell not lure it directly toward me? <laughs> I like that long pause he just did. Like, don't worry about it. We'll be here. Methinks thou this pause a touch long before giving thine answer. Speak truth, is there no no danger? Yeah, have a little faith, will you? Master Hoku. Yes, yes, I faith, for what can a man place his unweaving belief in, if not in his bosom friends? Priyath, look not to another, for lo, Maru shall see the fateful task done. Though really, I'm just gonna... kinda just gonna be standing here. <laughs> if something does happen, it's gonna fall to Ukon and the others to take care of it. Nope. Oh, stand and deliver, thou interpret Jack and Nave. Can't anything be done about what he shouts while he's doing his magic? Well, is it gonna come this way? A few of the smaller ones are coming with too. Looks like that did the trick. But, okay, okay, that's not a disaster. We can manage this. Everyone, keep pulling them, just like we planned. Just don't overextend yourselves. Oh, I didn't know what was happening there. Familiar threat. Entrap Burrogiri or defeat Burrogiri. All allies defeated. How many allies do we got? Only me and Mara. Oh, we, we about to die. That's all we got for now. Mm. 
Do I have anything for this man? No. He's good. He's fine. He's fine. Two arms! I like saying two arms. <laughs> Hurry up in front for your life. I am not about to like purposely go face to face with that. Um, so we're just gonna do this and just wait for it to come forward by itself. Because I know for a fact. We can go way over there. I'm trying to hit it, but it doesn't really gonna let me. Uh oh. I think Mama's on the move. Dang, that was a lot of health. This is as far as I can go, so I have to learn it here, basically. There we go. Now, more, more. It's okay, we're not done yet. Oh, he's trying to climb up. Oh, what unhappy tenacity. Sorry, but this is the end. She's here. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's like, no! No! I'm back, Haku. Are you hurt anything? No, but never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I did say I was good at rain, didn't I? Good. 
Good grief, Missy. Teasing a beastie like that all the way out here? You really are something. It's over. Yeah, it's over all right. Gah, I need a nap. I sat to the ground in sheer relief. M Master Haku, have we won the day? Our lives are yet our own? Yeah, it's over now, so you can't cling to me so much. The day is ours. Oh, the day is ours, Master Haku. All right, I got it. So just get off me. Let's head back, Haku. There'll be a feast waiting, fine drink, fine delicacies, and a hot bath. Even with all injured and battered, something joyful surges inside all of us at Cohen's words. Joy shouts fill the air and resolve into the roars of triumph. Trophy earned familiar threat. Uh, I already knew I was not going to win. It said you can either lure it into the trap or you can defeat it. I'm like... My mama went down before he can even go against Big Mama. Um, there ain't no way I'm gonna beat it by myself. Here's to our victory, men. Cheers! Cheers! The inn's dining hall fills with laughter and joyful chatter giving it a pleasant abundance. After the territory arrived, once it digests the body of the Guru Girigiri, it quietly slunk away back into its cave. From what I've been told, they have loathed to come out of their pits, so we shouldn't have to worry. And Okun's company cleaned up the rest of the Giri, so travelers can use that mountain pass without any danger now. Come now, drink up! Phew, it's nice to drink and relax like this. Upon hearing upon a virtue, the innkeeper broke out some of her best sake to share with everybody. I had to water it down to be able to drink it. It's good straight, yeah, but I shouldn't get wasted. It's got a peculiar fare, but it's not bad, just distinct. I washed down a bite of Ermoni with the sake as I watched the crowd. Meanwhile, Kuan has been sitting next to me staring into her cup, not saying a word. What's wrong? Not to your liking? It's not that it's bad. A little strong, maybe, but at a time like this, it'd be nice to have some meat around. Despite her disappointed tone, Kuan goes on eating and drinking hardly all the same. Hey, you kids drink it up? Ukon makes his way over to with a particular intimidating sized up cup, his face already red. <laughs> he about to get wasted. Come on, why don't you join us instead of lurking in the corner over there? Here, you're the stars of this party, after all. Nothing wrong with soaking the attention a little, huh? I'll pass. I'm not too eager to sit in the middle of a crowd of sweaty guys. Same here. I'm not really a crowd person. <laughs> you really are something, you know that? Kid, your plan went off without a hitch. That really wasn't enough to call- Oh, that really wasn't enough to call a plan. I was playing things pretty off the cuff. That's just fine. You came with it under pressure and executed it. It got results. It's impressive staying cool like that. Most guys in your situation would have buckled or panicked, not scheming way out. You're overpraising me. I don't know if you're being modest or this is just how you are, but I'm like you more and more. Though, hey, full disclosure, I admit I was pretty worried about how much the hike wore you out. Gah, not like I have a leg to stand on with that. And you shown back there too, missy. Me? Yeah, you hadn't lured the territory out of its lair. It all would have been for nothing. I didn't think you'd actually pull it off. Call me surprised, you did something so reckless. Honestly, when you came up with that plan, I thought you were joking to lighten the mood. Was it that reckless? Come on now, if I had told you to do what she, what she did, would you be able to carry out that order? No, I'd tell you it's impossible. Come on having to pull me along the first time we ran rises in my mind. I'm sure as hell couldn't run like that, that's for sure. Haha, <laughs> I'm just a little nimble, that's all. I see. We'll leave it at that, I guess. Anyway, the Giri Giri extermination was a success thanks to you two joining us. Please accept my gratitude. Okun bounds deeply. Come on, you're giving us too much credit. French, Yamatash, countrymen, exclude your dearest woman not from your revelish. What shall ye? 
Ha! And here is our other conquering hero. A white shadow is face fast coming a fearful red comes ringing across toward us. Oh, thou shalt I partake of my sweet liberations? Come, wet thy spirit with smooth steak. Eric, he reeks of booze. You would think he would have learned his lesson after after what happened in the cart. Since he killed the bulk of the Gary with his magic, Mormon was being held as a hero too. He's being poured drink after drink and keeps accepting. God's already drunk as a fish. Accordish and bonus pay are like fling themselves upon my person thanks to your aid. Oh, thanks, but I didn't really do anything that weren't a whole lot of praise. Oh, pray silence thy protest. That are just a humble man, Master Haku, truly. I'm going to my cheek with his finger. Please, please leave me alone. For truth, thou nourished me with health, though our journey shall perils, and prevent me from the lonesome gigger. You clung unto our legs and pretend and prevent us from leaving. We had no choice. Thou art my bosom friend, Master Haku. Now I'm his bosom friend? Great. I've ascended the ranks in his eyes. And now he's totally attached to me. Cripes. Hey, Mish- oh. Hey, Missy, weren't you saying something about heading for the capital? Hmm, we're planning to leave first thing tomorrow. Meanwhile, Kuhn and Gunnar have moved on to a complete different subject. Hey, you two, help me out here. Gonna do more science while you're there? There's that, but it's more to find a job for Haku, I think. The kid, huh? So he's not your attendant after all. Who? Who's an attendant? She's taking care of me, because I'm an amnesiac lost in the mountains. Ha! Huh. Wouldn't it be better f for appearance's sake, though. And what's with this about having amnesia? I don't even remember my own name. Haku is an alias Kuan gave me. Since I've accepted looking after him, it's my duty to see him become safely independent. And because he's not really suited to fiscal labor, I thought we'd try our luck in the capital. Fortunately, he's quite a wise person. I see. Ukon takes a cup of his cup, downing its contents in one go. He places the empty cup on the table. Uh, well if that's the case, why don't you come along with us? To the capital, maybe? Yeah, we originally came out here to pick up some cargo and escort it back to the capital. Since the cargo got delayed, I decided to take out the jewelry gob, and then, well, we know how that turned out. You this person grow slightly distant. I've had no choice but to leave the incapacitated here in the village, so we're down a few men. If you join up with us, you'll be paid, of course. Kuan would be coming on board as an alternate, and the kid, well, I guess consultant works for him. It's good money. We've got plenty of funds from the, the reward from the Gigerty Hunt, after all. Aren't you worried, kid? Trying alone with a delicate, fragile, vulnerable, alone with a young lady? <laughs> he was about to call, like, you, with this delicate flower that outran a territory and ran up a cliff by herself, uh... Why do you keep correcting yourself just now, I wonder? Didn't mean anything by it, promise. Two people could get out another easily, that's all. It's safer to travel with more companions, more fun too, would you say? Hmm. Thanks for the offer, but I think we'll have to respectfully decline. Oh, uh, come on. How come? With the number of men you brought with you, that cargo must be must be something pretty valuable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you could say that. With that in mind, the risk of a banner attack at your company to get to the car is too high. Oh no, the cargo's guards will be augmenting our numbers. No banner would be dumb enough to try it. But I won't make a pest of myself asking you about it. Just think it over, yeah? With that, Ukun's re returns to the throng of the party. Alright guys, and with that, I'm going to have to end the video right here. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please give it a big thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more. And we'll definitely see what happens after the party die, uh, dies down. Bye! See you later!